Hey friends, this is Moses Career the Ranter. Uh, I'm talking to you. I want to talk a little bit about motivation. Um, the other day my wife was watching My 600 Pound Life. Um, and if you're familiar with that show, it's a show where people are, are five to 600 pounds, maybe four, and they want to get a um, gastric bypass surgery by a doctor in Texas who does them. And he just generally does a good job with everybody. They inform everybody uh, beforehand how it is they want to eat, the lifestyle changes. Um, they do the surgery, and then they keep them in a hospital, help them lose weight, and get them started on the way. So it, it can be a very inspiring show because there's some people that do really awesome on it. Um, there was one lady that got down to 250 from uh, three, 600 pounds. Um, it's amazing. Uh, it's a lot of weight to drop. Um, but I, I really I want to talk about this one lady. Um, and the reason why I'm writing, uh, talking and doing a video blog about this is because we oftentimes fool ourselves uh, when it comes to motivation and why we're not getting to our goals. Most of the time, it's not that we're not educated even in the basic simplistic stuff. Sometimes it is. Um, but in this case, it, it was that she was educated, but she just wasn't willing. And you say, that sounds kind of harsh. Well, um, if you watched it, she had surgery, um, dropped 50 pounds in the hospital in a few weeks, I think it was two, um, left and kept doing what she was doing, eating wise. So she was eating wontons and so on, fried stuff, things that were going to keep her from losing the weight that she needed to lose um, and not eating whole foods. And her excuse was nobody really taught me how to eat um, in a hospital, um, so I'm doing the best I can. Um, so, you know, like any other excuse, it's an excuse. And uh, as time went along, they sent a dietitian to her, the doctor, uh, whom she went and saw again, and, and realized that she um, hadn't lost weight, whereas the other people that had the surgery were down to 300 pounds, 250 uh, in that time period, and she just had lost 50 pounds, maybe 60. Um, and so the excuses kept coming out. Oh, I know I'm losing weight because there's this thing that's different or whatever, but none of it was realistic. I mean, she was delusional. And, uh, you know, fast forward to the end of the show, she hadn't lost any more weight. She was just stuck at this um, very heavy weight, uh, which was over 500 pounds, and wasn't able to walk or anything like that. She got up to a walker, but that was it, because she hadn't lost the weight she needed to. Um, and what I'm talking about is, uh, the reason why I'm talking about is, is we have excuses. I mean, there's always a reason that we could give for not moving on in our fitness or our goals. And some of them are legitimate. If you're not really educated, then you need to go out and get the education and learning um, so that you can overcome your weaknesses. Um, but in this case, this lady was given area and she just didn't have the will to uh, change. Um, so if you're given everything you need, don't be delusional where you're at and make up some kind of fake uh, uh, um, goal or, or a reason why you can or, or you are doing or you can't do when your reality may not be. Um, and I say this, I'm speaking to myself. I mean, there's so many reasons why, you know, I can't get stronger or I didn't sleep or whatever. If I let them, if I latch on to them. So, all I'm trying to say is be real. Be real about where you're at. Be real about what you're willing to do um, and then take it from there. I mean, there's nothing wrong with starting small and slow and then gradually working your way into and improving your uh, fitness systematically, slowly. I mean, progress is progress. But just be willing to change a little bit and then more as you go along. Um, so don't end up uh, like that one lady who, um, if she doesn't change, will probably end up dying prematurely, which is really sad. Um, let's be the people that change, um, even if it's little by little, um, and deal with the issues we need to deal with, all right? So, enjoy.